all students i am latika likha i am gold medalist in mphil mathematics and i have been associated with ask iitians for the past 3 years as mathematics faculty so now we'll be beginning the chapter on applications of integration in which basically our focus would be on area under curves now as the name suggests area under curves is basically based on your graphing of curves and therefore it is very important to master curve tracing this chapter has been split up into various parts in which first of all we'll be discussing the different cases of bounded area and then we'll be discussing some of the standard curves standard areas so you'll have to memorize those formulae and they are very few in number and they are quite simple also then we'll be moving to various other concepts like average value of a function determination of parameters and we'll be discussing various questions based on these concepts side by side we shall also discuss curve tracing in which you'll get to know how to exactly you are supposed to draw a curve in which you'll also get to know how to judge the symmetry of a curve so basically in the first part we'll be concentrating on different cases of bounded area let's begin okay so now we'll be beginning a very interesting and an important chapter that is applications of integration so in basically in applications of integration we'll be concentrating on area under curves in which obviously as the name suggests you'll have to compute the area uh, enclosed by certain curves so for this obviously you need to know your curve tracing you should be able to draw your curves only then will you be able to compute the area enclosed by those curves so let's begin first of all we'll be beginning with the different cases of bounded area so in that the first thing is the area bounded by the curve y equal to fx the axis of x and the ordinates x equal to a and x equal to b where b is greater than a is given by this okay so yeah, there won't be any need to memorize these formula obviously once you understand it uh, you won't have to memorize them and first of all we'll be drawing the curve corresponding to this it says the area bounded by the continuous curve y equal to fx so suppose we have this is a continuous curve y equal to fx right this is the curve y equal to fx and the we have to find out the area enclosed or bounded by this curve y equal to fx the axis of x that is the x axis and the ordinates x equal to a and this is x equal to b right so the area that we are required to find out is basically this area this entire area this this we take a strip to denote that this is the area that we are required to find out and so this entire area of this portion that is enclosed between the continuous curve y equal to fx x equal to a x equal to b and x axis would be equal to now this is a this is b right and y coordinate is obviously 0 so the area would be a equal to integral a to b fx dx that is integral a to b y dx so see this is quite simple once you are able to draw the curve you can easily compute the area and corresponding to this uh, now suppose we have to find out the area bounded by the continuous curve x equal to fy the axis of y and the axis of y equal to a and y equal to b now see suppose this is the curve this is the y con y equal to b this is y equal to a it's given b is greater than a so this is a this is b and therefore we are required to find out this area the strip is denoting that this is the area that we are required to compute then this area would be given by as we discussed in this case this area is given by a equal to integral again a to b fy dy that is equal to a to b x dy because our fy is x 